Hi everyone, it's Veronica from Blue Star Crochet. In today's video tutorial, I would like to show you how to crochet these beautiful tiny crochet flowers. Um, they are really great quick make that don't use a lot of yarn at all. And as you can see, you can string them together and make a um, nice little flower garland or use them as an applique for any other bigger project and attach them to it. So yeah, you will need um, different coloured yarn. I've used yellow for the middle. This is a very pale pink for the petals and then I just used a white yarn to um, string the flowers together. So it's an easy uh, two round pattern and I would like to show you how to crochet these flowers in today's video tutorial. So let's get to it. So for today's video tutorial, you will need, um, as I mentioned, uh, three different colors of yarn. I've got a four millimeter crochet hook. Uh, this is a DK weight cotton acrylic blend yarn, but the choice is um, totally yours. And I've got a pair of scissors and I've got a yarn needle as well to sew in the end. So to start um, our tiny crochet flower, I'm gonna start with this yellow yarn. And we're going to start the pattern with a magic circle. Um, if you need to learn the magic circle, I have got another video uh, tutorial on my YouTube channel. I will link to all the other tutorials um, below in the description. So to start the first round, we're going to create a magic circle. So I've got the tail end and the working end. And I'm going to grab the yarn and wrap it around my index finger like this. So I've got three strands or three loops on my index finger and I'm going to insert my hook under all three loops like this. And I'm going to grab the very last loop and pull it under the other two loops. And I'm going to again grab the working yarn and I'm going to just chain one like this. Then I'm going to take it off my finger and just pull tight on it so it kind of fixes it like this. So the first round of the um, of the flower is worked in single crochet bubble stitch. Again, if you're not familiar with this stitch, I have got a separate video tutorial on my YouTube channel. You can find the link in the um, description box below. So to start, we're going to work six single crochet bubble stitches into the magic circle. So I'm going to chain one to start the round. This chain one doesn't count as a stitch. And I'm gonna go insert the hook into the magic circle and pull up a loop. So I've got two loops on the hook. I'm going to yarn over and pull through the first loop like this. Then I'm going to insert the hook back into the magic circle and pull up another loop. And I'm going to yarn over and pull through one loop on the hook, which leaves me with three loops on the hook. And I'm going to yarn over and pull through all three loops on a hook. And this is the first single crochet bobble stitch. So let's do that again together. So I'm going to insert the hook into the magic circle and I'm going to pull up a loop. Now I'm going to yarn over and pull through one loop on the hook. Now I'm going to insert my hook back into the magic circle, pull up another loop, yarn over and pull through one loop on the hook. That leaves me three loops on the hook and I'm going to yarn over and pull through all three loops on a hook. And that's the second single crochet bubble stitch created. And I'm going to repeat this process until I have six single crochet bubble stitches worked into the magic circle. So I've got one, two, three, four, and I need number five. And then number six, which is the last one. 
like this. So I've got six single crochet bubble stitches, which I worked into the magic circle. Now to close the magic circle, as you can see, if you see where the tail end is, you've got this strand that kind of comes out from the bottom of the stitches. So I'm gonna first pull on the loop at the bottom which then leaves me with this loop and the tail end. And then all you've got to do is pull on the tail end to completely close your magic circle. I'm gonna put my hook back into the loop and we're going to slip stitch into the first, into the top of the first single crochet bubble stitch like this. And then we're going to um, fasten off. So we're going to cut the yarn and then just pull the tail end through the last loop and let go. So this is the first round uh, of those tiny crochet flowers. It's the single crochet bubble stitch. And as you can see, it kind of gives them a bit of a puffy look. Um, rather than just a standard single crochet. So now I'm going to go back into the first stitch with my hook like this and I'm going to grab pink yarn. So we're going to be working with pink now for the petals. So I'm going to grab my yarn like this and I'm going to pull it through. I'm going to chain one with the tail end and I'm going to chain one with the working yarn and then I'm going to pull on the tail end firmly and this is how I personally join new yarn into my work when I'm working. Again separate video tutorials um, available on how to join yarn securely and now we're going to work the petals. So there is going to be um, six petals we're going to work one petal into each of these single crochet bubble stitches and we're going to be using half double crochet stitch so i'm going to chain two to start and i'm going to work three half double crochets into the same first stitch so that's first one Okay, yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop and then yarn over and pull through all three loops for half double crochet. So I've made two, I need one more, like this. Okay, and to finish off the petal, I'm going to chain two and I'm going to slip stitch right back into the same stitch where I worked all the half double crochets like this. So as you can see, that's our first little petal created. Now to work the second petal, we need to move on to the second stitch. So I'm going to slip stitch into the next stitch like this. And again, I'm gonna start the petal by chaining two. So two chain, then I'm going to work three half double crochet into the same stitch. So that's my first one, second one, third one. Now I'm going to again chain two and I'm going to slip stitch into the same stitch to finish off the petal. Okay, let's do that one more time. So I'm going to slip stitch into the next stitch, chain two to start the petal, then work three half double crochet, one, two, three, and then I'm going to chain two, and slip stitch back into the same stitch where I just worked all the stitches. And that's how you create um, the tiny petals 
and we're going to sort of repeat it all the way around until you end up with six petals on your flower. So here is the finished one, like this. And um, after you finish the last uh, petal, you just slip stitch back into the first um, stitch at the bottom of the first petal to kind of join them together. Um, so I will meet you back um, after I finished off my petals and we'll do that together. Okay, so here I am at the very last petal and I'm going to chain two and slip stitch to the bottom of the current petal I'm working on. So the last one. And to join it all together, I'm going to slip stitch into the first stitch at the bottom of the first petal like this to kind of finish off the round and we no longer need the pink so I'm going to cut that off and I'm going to simply pull through the last stitch like this okay and give them a little wiggle and jiggle and that's your tiny flower finished so as you can see, there are those four annoying ends at the back, which um, I'm going to sort out now. And then I'm just going to quickly show you how to join all these flowers together with one continuous chain. As you can see, um, they're all joined together at the back um, with a continuous chain. So I'll show you how to do that with the flower we just created. Um, let me just get rid of those ends on the back. So in this last part, we are going to attach um, this tiny little flower. If you make a few like I've done here, you can then attach them um, to a string like this and you can use it as a garland or headband or whatever you uh, want to use them for. So I'm going to show you just how quickly um, how to attach them together. So this is the flower I've just finished. Um, this is the back. That's the front, that's the back. I've obviously sewn my ends in. And for this part, you might have to grab a, a tiny hook uh, because it's sometimes it's a little bit tricky to get through those loops with the same hook that you made the flower with. So for this part, you might, I've got a two millimeter hook here uh, because I just want to show you these. Little, so this is the back of the flower, as you can see. And the single crochet bobble stitch creates these little loops on the back, if you can see them here. So there's six of them. One, there's another one there, and another one there. Okay, so these are the loops we are looking for. So you wanna get one kind of like opposite each other. So I'm gonna be needing this one here, I'm going to be needing this one here so you can even bend the petals out of the way so this loop here i'm just going to tug on it very gently and then the one opposite which is this one here okay so that's the two loops i'm gonna be using i mean you can use that one and that one or that one and that one whichever you prefer whichever is easy um for you to get to but you kind of want the two loops that are opposite each other okay so to start the um garland string we're just basically going to be using chain stitches so um quick slip knot like this and i'm going to use my four millimeter hook to make the actual garland so you can just start chaining however many chains you want on um, the end of the garland before you kind of attach your first flower. This is completely optional. I think on the um, original garland, I did something like 40 chain stitches before I attached the first flower. This will kind of give you some, some space for the, for the string to be tied onto something or etc. So I've done a few chains, I wasn't even counting, but never mind. Um, so, right, here we go. I've just got the, the working loop and I'm actually going to go to that two millimeter because those loops are a little bit tiny so I'm going to put the loop onto my two millimeter and I'm going to grab my flower and work on the back 
and oh, where's my tulips here's my tulips so i'm gonna insert my hook under the loop here and i'm gonna tighten this up a bit so i've got the the white loop and i've gone under the yellow loop and now i'm just gonna literally chain one through both of them like this which attaches it through that loop then i'm gonna go back to my four millimeter and i'm gonna chain three so one two and three i feel that this is kind of enough distance to get from one loop to the other and i'm gonna go back to my two millimeter and i'm gonna insert that hook under the other loop on the opposite side with my two millimeter hook if it lets me and again i'm gonna yarn over and pull through that yellow loop and through the working loop like this and then go back to my four millimeter and just carry on chaining however many chains you want between the two flowers um whatever you want to do that's that's totally totally up to you okay and that's basically how i um attach the flowers to the garland the reason i kind of attach them at two points because i i felt that if you just do it at one point they all kind of end up twisting the other way and just not actually all the flowers face the same way but if you attach them at two different points it kind of holds the flower as you can see holds the flower in position and when you carry on and then put another kind of another flower there there and there they all will be facing in a, in the same direction so yeah that's how I, I attached the flowers to the um to the chain to the string and yeah you can do that as many times as you wish or just keep it as a as a single one and use it as a little bracelet for little girls they can tie it on their wrist or they can put it in their hair or whatever you want to want, want to use it for i think it's quite a versatile pattern um to use so thank you for watching today's video tutorial i hope you enjoyed it it's a quick quick and cute one for today um if you wanted to see more of the tutorials please check out my youtube channel subscribe um while you're there there are more free patterns there is a written pattern for this flower as well on my blog uh, bluestarcrochet.com i will leave the link in the description for the video as well for you um to check it out and yeah thank you for watching